it's Maureen. Welcome back to my little English page. Today we are doing a little bit of pronunciation. We are going to have a look at four names and four places that have a bit of a strange pronunciation. Those words have what we call a counterintuitive pronunciation, which means that they are spelled very differently from the way they are pronounced. One of the most famous examples of counterintuitive pronunciation is this sauce. Have you heard of Worcester sauce? It is actually spelled Worcester sauce, but you do not pronounce all of the syllables. Okay, let's start with places. I have mentioned before Worcester. Now I would like to have a look at Leicester. Leicester. It is once again spelled Leicester, but we say Leicester. This is due to the fact that in the past more syllables were pronounced, but as time went, people started saying those words quicker and quicker, and they started omitting some of the syllables. The next word or place I find rather funny. It is the word toaster with a very, very strange pronunciation. It is actually spelled toaster, but you will pronounce it toaster, just like the little machine that you use to toast your bread. My next word is quite a famous one. It is a river that goes through London, the river Thames. Thames. There is a silent H that you do not pronounce. Thames. We are done with my four places and we are now going to have a look at four names that have a very different pronunciation to the way that it is spelled. My first word is probably not that mispronounced anymore, but I do know some people that used to mispronounce it uh, before it became such a popular name. You must have heard of Harry Potter, and if you have, you have heard of the heroine of the, the, the book and the saga called Hermione. Hermione. It is an old English name and it is not pronounced Hermione, Hermione, no, Hermione. The second name is probably one of the most difficult ones in the English language. It is Siobhan, Siobhan. And it's spelt Sioban. What? <laughs> yes, extremely strange. I believe it is an Irish name and quite a few Irish names and Welsh names are spelt differently from the way they are pronounced. But this is quite an extreme example of it. So one more time, Siobhan. My third word is Vaughan. Vaughan. And not Vaughan, Vaughan, Vaughan. And my last word for today is Sean. Sean. And not Sian. This name can actually be spelled quite a few different ways. You could have it like this or like that. And like I said just before, like this. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you can now pronounce those words correctly. You will never have to be embarrassed because you said somebody's name incorrectly. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. That way you will be informed every time there is a new video out. Meanwhile, enjoy the rest of your holiday and see you soon.